Thomas Latham down at the Paisley Lagoon. I'm delighted to be joined by our victorious Regan Larkin. Regan, how are you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. Aye. Um, happy with that performance, mate. The team's happy, so all good, mate. Fifth round. Stoppage. Doesn't get much better, does it? No, mate. I, was, I nearly had an end of that full fair, mate. As soon as I had that last 10 second bell, I knew I could, could kind of get let off a wee bit, do you know what I mean? But happy enough, mate. Um, it was erratic, quite quickly movement on his feet and that. So, but once I found my range, mate, found the distance, the kind of first two rounds, mate, it was... Was hurting them every shot after that, that I mean, so happy enough for that, mate. You, you seem to make a habit of getting these erratic, unorthodox kind of opponents. Do you think Sam just does that deliberately? <laughs> mate, I'm actually going, fair enough, somebody else has said that, mate, because I say it every day in the house, mate. I talk to my brother a lot about boxing, and we say that as well, mate. I always get handed a late notice, the fucking, the, no a lot of footage of people, do you know what I mean? So, listen, it is what it is, you're a professional, you've got to train to be able to adapt, mate, and I think I'm, I'm starting to show that, mate. As we spoke the other week, I said I was going to use my experience for the last few fights and using that fight and dealing with some days that I think is that I believe I showed that so it's all about adapting it. Was there uh, was every time I see Joe right he's got the, he's got the best poker face in the game because doesn't give much away. Was he a happy man tonight or I see so I think Joe's a lot like my, my old man mate that's how I can relate a lot to Joe do you know what I mean and a bit like myself he's but he's old school but the good thing with Joe is, mate, he tells you when you're being good, but at the same time, there's always something falling behind that that you could do better. But that's the way I am as a person, so I like that. But so I know, it's like so my dad says to me, he's proud of me, he's happy, whatever. And Joe says, it, you know, it's it's meant, you know, you're doing something good. But Joe was really happy with that the name. It's the first thing he said before I got the ring. He was like, fucking perfect, do you know what I mean? Um, obviously, Joe, Joe reads a fight so good, mate. So we knew going into that fight, although there wasn't a lot of footage, what to do, what to expect, what to work on. And we just implemented that. But was nothing better, mate, when you set out a plan and it pays off, you know what I mean, especially in that ring, so he was really happy the night, mate, so his poker face was come down a wee bit, but you just, just, for, for, a split just second, for a split second, just for a split second, mate. Straight back up when he <laughs> said back to Jimmy Moore, right? That's it, aye. Um, we'd sort of said it off camera, you said that you felt that you had him going in the fourth, um, seeing you back to the corner, did Joe just say go in and finish this now, or was it just stick to what you're doing? What was the advice? Aye, mate, I, I knew midway through the fourth, mate, it was a, I, I held a jab in front of his face, mate, and hit me a right ball shot, and I heard him once, and right away, he was turning away, and then when I let him off, I was, I was like, Joe, was like he's, he's survived that round, but Joe was like, he's done, because we could see, I was looking across, mate, and he was telling his corner man he was done, he didn't want to do it, at the end of the fourth, he was doubled over, the rope almost, you know what I mean? Um, but Joe's just like, you just go right out there and put that on him. And literally, mate, as soon as that fifth round started, I think you hit him maybe one jab and our right to the body, and he was slumped over again, mate. Do you know what I mean? So he was kind of looking for a way out for the fourth anyway, do you know what I mean? But if it was 10 seconds quicker, it would have been in the fourth. But what well, else? And got in the fifth anyway. You'd you know have been in the fifth, you'd have happy, man. That's it, I Maybe I had a wee one on. Who knows? <laughs> um, we'd say that in the last interview that this is probably your last out in this year. Um, it's a good way to sign off the year, wasn't it? That's it, mate, and the good thing is as well, although it's my last fight, I'll, I'll still be in the gym training. So I've got a fight with my two teammates, Joe and Nathaniel, I've got big fights, so I'm going to be announced, I'll still be in the gym, mate, pushing them, helping them, doing all the long runs with them stuff, so, I mean, so I'll be treating, I treat uh, year-round like a camp, mate, I don't believe in just a fight camp, I date year-round, so listen, I'm going to be on holiday and then we'll see obviously before the end of the year, but that will be my last one for the year, mate, do you know what I mean? That other fight obviously fell through two weeks ago, so it's as if I've kind of had that fight anyway, because I've been staying in the gym, so... Listen, that's three this year. I believe I've shown a lot of improvements this year. And especially tonight, I'm really happy because I was doing at lightweight championship limit and I've shown other lightweights, mate, that what I'm about at that weight. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you'll get many lightweights that are going to be able to deal with my presence when I get in the mirror of them. So I'm all for making good fights doing at lightweight now, mate, and showing lightweights, what I'm all about. Very often on holiday. Going on a cruise, mate. I'm actually third wheeling, mate, my mum and my dad. So, <laughs> um, just I'm looking forward to going away a chilled holiday, mate. Do you know what I mean? My mum and dad, I was going to go away with just my mum, but my dad's really busy with work and stuff. But my dad's coming away with as well, so I'm looking forward to a bit of quality time with them because they put a lot in, mate. I'm full time, as I say, so I put everything into boxing, mate. So I've got a good family that support me, my, my brother, my sister, my, my dad, mate. So I'm looking forward to over festive period and spend a lot of time with them, do you know what I mean? So I'm glad this all these come up as well because it gives me a bit more time with family in London, do you know what I mean? Yep. And then a chance to rest, recuperate, and then about 2023. That's exactly what I mean. I'm chasing titles down at lightweight now. Um, I've done my last few fights, mate, especially the, the hydro one. We, we touched base on that weight. It was a good test and stuff, so I'm ready to kind of, don't get it wrong, I'm, as we said in the last interview, I don't want to jump the cure in that, but I'm ready to start moving along the lines now at lightweight. And I've spoke to Sam and Sam knows that, and I think performances like that, because although that boy's not a lot of fights, mate, the boys he's fought, he beat obviously an unbeaten boy, but he fought, he fought a good boy a few weeks ago on, on the Channel 5, the last one, show. a good boy from England, and he didn't stop him. And, I think I haven't out there and I've showed what level I'm at, do you know what I mean, stopping him and as we said it could have been before the fifth so I 
boss if he will fight me. So I think I'm showing that I'm ready for a big 2023 and I'll be pushing on for that exactly, mate. Well, we can enjoy your holiday, mate. Uh, we look forward to seeing you back out. Thank you, mate. Good way to sign off the year. Yep. Cheers, mate.